Hi friends, welcome to our tutorials. This is part of Angular full tutorial series we are bringing you and this in this particular episode we will cover all about Angular routing. Angular routing is one of the most core fundamental principle that's used in our applications as well as from an interview perspective this is one of the most frequently asked questions on Angular routing. We'll learn all about it and do some practicals but before we get started friends uh, my humble request is if you can subscribe to my channel it would help me encourage and also keep supporting me and also if you have any questions or queries drop them in the comment section i will be happy to help you for free let's get started all right so first part we will cover this in four parts because angular routing itself is vast huge in the first uh, episode we will talk about angular routing how do we implement it and what are the important aspects of angular routing so ang routing is an essential to any web application that you build it's used to navigate between different views different screens the most important thing to remember is the base href which is added in your index.html file by default it is to slash which means where you want it to be hosted the next important thing is to import the router module into our application. The router module has multiple directives like router link, router link active, router outlet. The next step is to set up the router outlet tag directive, which is used to show the output of the screen in the template. So we will see all of this in detail, but this was just a high level. If you want, you can go through it. These are the important steps. First, we define the base href, then we need to import the router module, then we need to check for router outlet, and then select the routes. These are the four important steps in setting up routes. Let's get started, but we have a lot of things like route parameters, we have route with query param, child routes. We will see all of that in next videos, but today we'll focus on setting up basic routing in our application. Let's get started. All right, so here we are, we have, so we are in our project. So I am going to quickly create a new module, but before that, let's put a game plan. So how do we want our routing to be, right? So we need to have a plan. So let's plan that first. So I'm going to create a new feature called products. So obviously uh, I'll need a route for it. And for this, we'll call it slash products. Then we want to see a specific product route. We will see product. Click product. So we will call it something like product slash 10 or whatever value. And then we should be able to search products which will use or we can set up a route called search query equal to say value whatever value user passes for search also i also want to see some specific details about a particular product so we can say slash product slash 10 slash say summary or info or you know details or any any route that you want to configure so this is our child route so this is, will be our child route this is with params this is basic route this is with parameters here this is with parameters and a child route this is called query params so see, these are the different ways that we can configure our Angular routing in our application. So we can define basic route, which would be just slash URL. We can pass parameters like this, which is product slash 10 or user can select anything. And then we can drill down to child routes inside the specific product. We can use query params and finally we'll use something called route guards to protect the above routes 
So these are all these are all the actions that you can do with Angular routing. So get these in concepts clear. But before I leave you on this episode, let me show you some important things we discussed. So I told you that we need to set up the base href. We do that in index.html file. By default, it is to slash. So backslash means it's at the root of the domain that you are hosting this application. That's base href. We will use router link and we will use. All right, so we will use router link. Link and router link active in our templates where we are implementing the routes. <coughs> so all this is the routing strategy that you come up with. I hope this tutorial gives you an overview of what Angular routes are, how, what are the different types that you can configure. In the next episode, we'll start implementing them in detail. Join me on the next side, other side of the tutorial, where we will drill down into implementing Angular routes. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I'll see you on the other side.